I have with me today. Torka. Hi, everybody. Torka. Yes. I make music for people who have been through real life shit and they have been heartbroken. They have not, you know, acknowledged the red flags that they saw but ignored. Mm -hmm. So they are heartbroken, but they're on the path to healing. Some people may still be in a toxic situation and they're trying to find ways to get out of it. And I believe that my music is a soundtrack to that. So I make real life experience R&B. I make music that people can relate to and learn from. Okay. I'm like, y'all, I'm on a press run right now. I cannot stop the talk everybody can not okay, What if I get you out the crib that you paid for? Torka, how are you? <laughs> nope, <laughs> you here. Here. So, I want to officially welcome you to Huntsville and to Little Child Promotions Play of the So, yeah, so feel free to check that out. Okay guys, this is my unboxing. <laughs> I got a card with my name on it. It says Torka, but it translates to Tiance. Okay. <laughs> That's on period. Ooh, it's a tissue paper, baby. There's some good in here. Stuff in there. And this is my favorite. So I hope you like it too. I love Soraya. This is so good. Good choice. Good choice. You know, you can't do nothing wrong with wine and a black woman, baby. Yeah. For people that are not familiar with the journey, we, we know we've been in the game 20 plus years, yes. but let them know a little bit about the journey so that they can get familiar with what you've been doing. Well, I'm an R&B storyteller. I make music that people can relate to, learn from, and hopefully help heal them or help them avoid an unnecessary situation. A lot of people were introduced to my voice from uh, one of the most notable songs, in the early 2000s hip hop era, which is sleeping me lonely every night while my man goes out with his homies. So that was me on the film mob, sick of being a lonely hook. <laughs> and been that girl, still that girl, will forever be. So for those of you who are still requesting that song, playing that song, adding that song to your social media videos, thank you. 22 years later, I'm still getting one of two checks. That's and that's what it's about, but you also are getting a little, a little, a little money, a little corn from the pen because you've actually Absolutely. written for some of our favorite R&B artists. Correct. I've written for Monica. Um, I've written for Tierra Marie. I have vocal produced sessions for The Clutch. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're familiar with The Clutch or people that are out there listening. You know I am. Well, yeah. I know you are. They're responsible <laughs> for like almost all the R&B that was on the radio from like 2005 until like 2000. 15. Yeah. So, um, Carrie Hilson was part of the clutch, mm -hmm. Ezekiel Lewis, JQ Smith, and Candice. Candice is an amazing vocalist, but um, I learned how to write by sitting in on sessions with Sean Garrett. So, RIP to Shakir Stewart, he put me in the studio at Hitco, which was L.A. Reid's studio mm -hmm. um, in Atlanta. And it's so funny because Hannah Kane used to run that studio. Now she's like a huge um, event producer. She does like the biggest events in the world for the entertainment industry. but. Um, we all kind of came up together, and Shakira was like, I think you can sing, but the songs that you let me hear are poems. He mm -hmm. was like, I need you to learn how to write a music industry standard format song. Yeah. So I sat in on tons of sessions with Sean Garrett, and I learned how to write in those sessions. Um, I have a publishing deal with Warner Chapel through Brian Michael Cox, who is mm -hmm. a 10 time Grammy Award winning producer. Right. Um, I worked with Jermaine Dupri, I was on his uh, Young Fly Flashy album. I, I'm on Gucci Mane's Trap House album. I've done four songs with Rick Ross. Great. I've done four songs with Z, I've done three songs with Jeezy, I've done, you know, countless songs with notable producers. I mean, I have receipts, baby. Yeah. Okay, you can go on tourpiesworld.com to get the rest of the team. We love it. And listen, you ain't even got a flex when the flexes are together. there. The flexes, flexes, flexes. You, you know my real flexes? That I was successful before social media. Yeah. That's the hard part of the music industry. Now, it's a lot easier because you have so much accessibility. We didn't have access to our fans and to people that consume music like people do now. So right. it was much harder to become something. Yeah. And so I'm very proud of that. And, you know, I can use some of the traditional um, approaches to things and mix it with the new digital innovative technology age. So right. that okay. gives me an advantage for sure. Well, listen, you're a whole move. And uh, that's my transition into this song because I've been playing it like crazy here. Since I've had it, you know, we, we've been doing it. 
And um, I want to I want to share with people before we play it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've already heard it many times, but I'm going to play it again. Okay. But I want to know what was the motivation? What's the storyline behind a whole movie? Like, what happened to you to okay. write this industry standard song? So I got I got in a space in a relationship that is no longer active. That um, I lost who I was in that relationship trying to be more than the person was trying to be for me. So ultimately I wrote the song because I wanted to reclaim my mood, reclaim my energy, reshift things and attention and focus back to who I am and who I, who I was before I met that person. So I'm really saying like, don't let what you've done for me be um, the reason why you can mistreat me. Mm -hmm. So you can have all of this stuff back. Right. Because I want me back. I'm trying to get back to me. So you right. can take all the stuff that you bought, all the flashy things. That has nothing to do with how you made me feel. Right. And because I didn't like the way you made me feel, I'm reclaiming my mood. Okay. And I'm getting back to being a whole mood. And you can take all of the stuff that you bought. I love Choose my mistake, break you down. 
Maybe I'm a whole